Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hey, my name is Muamma Farmas, toxicologist and safety assessor of personal care product. In this channel, we love to talk about skincare, ingredients and their safety. If that sounds interesting to you, please don't forget to subscribe and join this community. So this video is going to be a little bit different. I will talk about product that I've already talked about on my channel, but I want to talk about some aspect of the product or one aspect to be honest of those products that I like, that I recommended, that I reviewed, that I really don't like or it, it could be improved. And that aspect would be the packaging. We all know that there is no perfect product. Sometimes you use a product you love, but maybe it's expensive. Sometimes the packaging doesn't really work very well, but the product is amazing. Sometimes you, you really enjoy this product, but the brand itself can be a little bit misleading when it comes to claims, etc. And unfortunately, all the product that I've used that and I liked and I reviewed had some issues with the packaging that I will go through. And hopefully this video can reach out to those uh, companies or brands and we can see some improvement on those uh, on this aspect. Okay, we'll start with the first product from Aven, which is the A-Oxidative Night Serum, which contain uh, retinal aldehyde or retinal, which is amazing. I did a full video on this, uh, on this product and how it can help you with improve your retinoid, uh, retinoid result by jumping from retinol to retinaldehyde or retinal and what kind of result to expect and why retinal can be a better option than retinol. If you want to see the video, please, I will put it here uh, with the card. So what is the issue with this product? I really enjoyed it. It's amazing. It contains, like I said, retinol and some vitamin C, thermal water, Aven, the famous thermal water and some peptides to calm down the skin so you don't see a lot of irritation when you are using a retinoid based product but the issue is the pump i think i talked about this in my video uh, at, uh, when i did the review the pump is has some issues is that it cannot i don't know if you can see if you squeezed let's say very slowly the product got stuck on the on the I don't know if you can see it i think it's clear so the product stuck on the upper part of the packaging and you have to like wipe it off with your hands every time you use the product you have to do this motion to like wipe everything and so nothing gets stuck and uh, solidify over time so you have to squeeze really hard on the uh, nozzle of the dispenser so it can dispense the product really fast so it doesn't get stuck and most of the time unfortunately it doesn't work so you have to uh, pump and then do this motion and you have to wipe it off and this is annoying especially using retinoids at night i know that might sound like a little bit picky but Using retinoids at night, sometimes you are exhausted, you just want to apply everything and go to sleep, and this is really not helping. I wish they can maybe um, increase the diameter of the dispenser or do or find some better dispenser, but in general, this product is amazing, but this one aspect of packaging specifically needs a lot of improvement. Now, product number two is going to be a body care related product, a moisturizer. It's from Neutrogena Deep Moisture Body Lotion and it's like i said the norwegian formula it's very affordable very good i you know me if you've been following for a little bit you know i love pumps because it's kind of uh, suits my lazy energy sometimes when it comes to skincare but the issue with those pumps is that um, the product is i think it's this full about this full and uh, the there is not i can't get it out so you have to open it up and see all the product lumping at the end so you have to turn the bottle and start slamming it so you can uh, let some products out and this is so annoying that like i said it's a very affordable very nice and very basic in a good way it's a glycerin based moisturizer with uh, some paraffin oil so it's very nourishing without being very oily and for the body is amazing i use it all the time after shower when i have a damp skin perfect perfect and again it's affordable it's a drugstore product but again, the packaging, so like literally, I don't know, it's considered 20% of the packaging is, is full and I can't get it out. And although I'm a fan of, like I said, of um, pumps, but this needs to an improvement. Maybe a tube would be better for this kind of product, but I don't know. Hopefully they can improve it because that's 
that formula really deserve a better packaging. Now, the third product, you know I'm a fan of it, the thermal waters from, I use the Yoriage uh, oh, thermal water and the Aven uh, spring thermal water. I don't know what's wrong with the sprays when it comes to thermal water. I will have to use my limited English to explain it and hopefully you can guys understand what is wrong. So if you use like a deodorant with a, this kind of packaging, a, a spray bottle, it usually lasts you until the, the deodorant is almost about to finish and you notice that the spraying is not very consistent, let's say. But those products from the first time, like whenever you buy a new bottle of thermal water, the spraying, let's say you have to spray like for five seconds so you get a very even layer of fine uh, mist of water on your skin. And during those five seconds while you're spraying, I don't know what's maybe the, um, the propellant gas inside those bottle is different or whatever, but I have to look at that up if there is any differences between those and the deodorant uh, when it comes to the propellant gas that pushes the product out of the bottle. But whenever, like you say, you're spraying for five seconds, so during those five seconds of spraying water, um, the bottle stops spraying like a fine mist of water and start acting like a, how do you explain it in English? Like a water gun, like you get like a string of water coming out of this bottle or a very like a glitchy or um, the spray is not consistent and it's not very fine, uh, very fine water or very fine droplets of water. So this was feels like two seconds of it. It's like spraying water on you like um, a, spray, uh, a water gun. So you have a, a spot on your face where it's like dripping wet and other part you have just this fine um, layer of uh, droplets of water. So usually for me it, it gets on my beard and it started dripping and I don't know why. Even with the... Um, the problem with the Oriage one was it was worse when it comes to this and the Aven one it's a little bit better but the issue is still there like you have to maybe spray less time or uh, I don't know uh, spray and stop spray and stop I don't know what's the issue with those but it's very annoying it's, you feel it like you when you are when you are closing your eyes and spraying this water you feel that this two seconds of um, like a water gun kind of <laughs> kind of dispensing, which is very, very annoying. Lastly, I want to talk about a product that I haven't reviewed yet. So if you want me to review those products, please let me know. I got those as a gift from a friend. It's the uh, Selfless by Hiram with collaboration with the Inky List. The packaging of those products, I don't know how to explain it, but it's not the best. Let me start with this. Uh, the formulas, um, if you want a full review, let me know the formulas. I'm, you, I'm enjoying them, It's they are like, let's say, two steps ahead of when it comes to inky list formula, uh, like there are some kind of uh, um, a more focused intention to improve the formula with, those col with this collaboration. The, uh, the formula itself, it's liquidy, so if you, if you hold it like this, nothing will, will come out of the uh, product, but let's say you have to use like four to five drops. So you have to apply the perfect amount of pressure to get the dropping effect or the dropping dispensing. Uh, if you do more than that, it will like be turned to, into a stream dispensing. You will apply a lot. Like for example, the, um, I don't know if you can see it, but if applied a little bit of pressure, you can see drops. But a small amount of difference uh, or increased pressure, you will see something like this. I don't want to use all of all, all of those products on uh, on my face. It says on the packaging that I have to use like four to five um, uh, droplets for uh, for my whole face. But sometimes you have to get this amazing amount or precise, very small uh, window for error. Let's say of amount of pressure you have to apply. And uh, uh, if you have um, like like I said, if you are using it w while you are like in the morning and be, and getting your th things done and very um, let's say in a hurry you will dispense way more so you this product will won't last you anything so it's a very strange uh, choice when it comes to packaging with this formula because it's literally liquid but in a tube formula I don't know why they decided to go with this and um, it needs improvement when it comes to this because um, 
any like i said any small like the tiniest increase of pressure you turn from droplets to like gushing out of <laughs> of the of the packaging so this was my video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any question please let me know and if you want a full review for the product that i haven't reviewed yet like the selfless by Haram, i'm using two product of them these the salicylic acid and c kelp one and the mandelic acid one also same packaging i don't know why they decided to go with it like i said please let me know in the comments and please always don't forget to stay safe